Today we'll be doing this makeup look using budget drugstore high street products, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's really easy, it's really simple, it's something I go to quite a lot if I'm going out so I'm wearing quite a plain outfit I just want to zhuzh it up with the lips and yes yeah, so I really hope you enjoy it and if you want to see more makeup tutorials please let me know I've got a few videos lined up in terms of dupes and I think I found one today so that's really good so keep tuned and hopefully you enjoy the video and please subscribe thank you I've done my eyebrows off camera purely because um, well it was Benefits Cabra it's not really high street or drugstore is it really so I thought I would just go straight into it I've really prepped and primed my face with Makeup Revolution Ultra Primer which is like the pinky colour um, like I said before my first video is one of my go to's and now I'm just going to start getting into the look I'm going to start with my eyes and yeah so let's begin I'm going to prime them with the L'Oreal Perfect Matte Concealer and as usual I've got my H&M oh, just damaged it um, highlighter palette even though it's just got a bit of a splodge from my thing there so yeah let's go Ooh. so I just put a little bit on maybe not so much on this side Alright, and then just get my damp and just go in. You want to cover all bases of the eyelid so that there's no gaps in between. Okay, so I'm actually gonna do a bit of well, there's some new products that I'm gonna be trying out with my with my look. I normally use this with kit is weird because the item pack I'm using is from Kiko and I normally use it with the single Kiko eyeshadow palettes, the individual ones, but I saw in Mac there's like the new palettes that are called the girls and I really wanted to find like a dupe of one of them which is like a lip it's packaging with like lip print. So yeah, so I found this one, it was in this, I think it was like £3 from Kiko Cosmetics and it's the one that says O1 on it. So it's pretty basic packaging but at least you know what you're getting and I did the swatches and they looked really good. So I'm just going to do what I normally do with this look. So I don't know how it's going to turn out in terms of blendability. So I'm just going to get my Ruby, um, my Ruby, my Ruby kind of fluffy eyeshadow brush which is my fave I've got it free with um glossy box subscription there you go so I'm just going to take that into the crease as the transition colour sorry I, I took the burgundy one so I'm just going to create a bit of definition and then look at the dark stuff so we're going to go because it's all about the lips not the eyes in the outer corner, I like to tilt my mirror up a bit in my head. And let's go, let's see how well this goes. Like I said, I've never used this eyeshadow before. It's quite light, which is nice, so it's buildable. I'm not the strongest pigment, but it's blending really nicely. And again, I look on, you don't really want it to be that strong. Because the whole point, well, I've never used this before anyway. But I don't know if it's going to ruin what I have in mind, so let's go. Quite happy with that. So I'm going to go in with the next shade down, which is kind of like a brownie colour. Again, just to deepen that crease, because I want it to be a bit more stronger. This Ruby brush, I've never heard of them, but it's actually my favourite little crease brush, because it doesn't, sometimes it gets a bit light all over your face. There's this, is a bit more controlled. So I just tilt it up a bit. 
try not to get into the middle centre of your eyelid. You don't want to get ashy when you go on the lighter shades. Okay, lovely. So I'm now going to go into, I'm literally, I just really have money purely wearing these eyeshadows, I might have to quickly bounce back. So I'm going to go in with the pinky colour now. Um, they don't really have sh name shades on them, so I'm just going to call it pinky. And go again with the same brush. Here we go. It's kind of like a dusty pink, which is really lovely. So it's going to be quite a nice contrast with the, with the um, red lippy. I'm going to start to go all over the lid with this one. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the more golden bronzy colour. I'm going to get on my nice chair. Just going to tap it off. The um, fallout is not on my face, but on the actual palette. It's quite, it's quite a lot. So it's, it's obviously quite a powdery formulation. Which, if you do normally come across that, make sure you have normally something under your eyes. I mean, big one doesn't come out, but it will. Make, it might go into your other colours. So. Just make sure you're careful and tap it off. These, their gold colours are always really nice to put on the key coat, I swear they are. And when you are applying eyeshadow, always hold your um, eyeshadow brush at the end because then you're not pushing the product about, you're just lightly circulating it around so it's actually going on your eyelid, to opposed to it all being like crazy everywhere and being pushed about like. All the products are just end up nice. So I want a bit blank there and I keep dressing the eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm going to go with the same brush. I have no idea where it's from. I'm going to go back in with the brown colour. And then just tap it off. And then just go in the outer corner just to create some kind of less flat appearance on the eyes because it's looking a bit um, one, if I'm honest, a bit flat. So you want to create a really nice shape for the eyes. Go in just circling motions. I will say with the darker colours in this, you're having to quite. Um, no, um, but it's easy to control if you're a beginner and it's actually blending really lovely so I'm actually really impressed with this but if you are quite new to makeup I would generally recommend this it's really cheap it's about three pounds and it's not too scary to play with because it's not like hitting your band with pigment so there's always a silver lining if something isn't pigmented in terms of eyeshadows Right, okay, so I'm now going to get my Anastasia Beverly Hills brushes. I absolutely love these. I wear, I think, for eyeshadow palette, especially something of that exp expensive, it's from the um, Makeup Re Modern Resist, Re you know the one, the really amazing palette. It's the only palette I highly recommend spending all your money on. I really have a little. Um, brushes they come with they're quite good so sorry I've done the kind of glittery ice one right there I should call it ice cream um I'm gonna put it in the tear ducts of my eyes it's coming a lot more more golden which is nice 
So my dupe for um, Max Fix Plus that everyone raves about is the Insta Fix and Go by Ramel. I generally think it does the job just as good. I'm just going to spread my brush. So it might bring out a bit more what I want. I want it to pop a little bit more. So if you're looking, if you can't afford the Fix Plus, get the Ramel Insta um, new Insta collection. It does does the job really well. It makes especially when you're at work, and it it really helps your makeup not slide off or spill. So basically, there wasn't much fallout in the eyeshadow, which is really good considering it looked like it's going to be quite powdery. I will definitely use this again. And I'm really impressed considering it was one of those impulse buys. I was literally just trying to find out. I went to all the high street shops like Superdrug, Boots, and even Devon to see if there was anything cheaper for that palette. And I pretty nicked into Kiko and Lakeside. And yeah, I think it was a close one I could find, especially with the dark shades anyway. There was another one I really got my eye on, but again, it was more champagne y and a bit quite pale. So I think if you had really, really pale skin, it would be fab. But Look blue because I'm fake tanned. Um, yeah, so let's move on to the skin. I am going to go in with the. I don't know if I've run out. My L'Oreal Looming Magic Foundation. It's my favourite. I wear it every day, and hence why it's on the loose. So I just pop it onto my sponge. I know a lot of people say try and put it on your skin because this is what soaks it up, but each to their own. I'm just going to dab, dab, dab in my areas and clear up a little bit because there's no really much fallout so I'm not going to have powder eyes and oh, it's... okay so I'm going to make my face a little bit less flat now we've done the base and go in with my L'Oreal True Match Concealer again that was the one we used as a bit of a primer um, my, oh my baby brush um, so we don't look as ill what? So I'm looking at it. Burn. So I just I don't do a full on circle because I just blend it out. And go back just around the eyes in a circle and do a blending out like that for the cheekbones. So then it can just melt in the skin more. Bit of a dot exclamation. I'm going to show you my tip as well with the Benefit Highlighter Capel Kit for your nose. So, stab again. So, at least we've got a bit of a. some dimension almost. Um, I'm just going to go with my and other stories. Um, Bronze duo, but again, I said this before. I use this as a contour now. It's so good. I did in my first impressions. I was like, I weren't really feeling it, but now I'm like, I'm so on board. And then again, this is dramatic. You need to line up your ears. For the thing I've got my real techniques just to pat down before we go in to define our cheek. If you, the best way, like I just said, if you highlight, or not highlight, that's the wrong word, get your ear diagonal, that should be where your natural cheekbone is. Even if you've got a super round face, that is technically where your bones should be. And don't contour down, or make you look ill. And that's, you no, know, if you've got your skin, you don't want to look emancipated and older. You just want to chisel. So, this is what I'd do. Just go up and pat rather than push it all around and move your foundation. And by the way, this was the and other stories sunstone uh, shade. Oh, 
this is not Kakonos, isn't it? Again, circle, circle, circle. And now I get to show you the Benefit highlighter trick. So I really had to sharpen it so it might be a bit dodge. So what I like to do, because like I said, I can't really contour my nose. As you can see, it's looking a bit muddy. So I get the Cabral Higher Brow Pencil. I had got the shade in number three in the actual pomade. But um, if you just do like a little, little dot, an exclamation mark here on the bridge. And then dab on your middle finger. And I swear, it looks so much smaller. Oh, I don't know whether I've smudged it up. Click back, back with brown. There we go. Got a wonky nose, so. Pretty sure I might break my nose one day. Okay, on to blusher. I am using, it's an individual blusher, it's the Collection Soft Glow. Again, everything. Well, majority apart from the eyebrow area is high street. So we're just gonna circle like this and we're gonna do the Charlotte Tilbury kind of technique that she kind of suggests you should do. So we smile round round all the way up. Okay, so I'm gonna go in now with the H and M lip definer lip pencil. It's a soft crayon because I think I said before in the past when I use Romel ones, I always use them, but I'm going a bit different today. Soft crowns are really good for small lips and thin lips, so I've actually never used this product before. Again, it's kind of a bit of a first one for me. So I'm just get this hair out of my face and start to line the lips. I always start with a cross from the other side, just so I can get that my natural bow. Okay, so we've lined the lips and I'm going to go in with the Kiko Blossma um, Emotion 117 shade. It's a blood, not blood, blood red, it's like an orangey, if I can get it open, lipstick. Here we go. It's really lovely. It's slightly lighter to the lip pencil, but that's because I want definition. And so I'm going to go ahead and put this on. It's got really nice packaging. It's got little indents of KK, so that's quite cool. So let's see what it looks like. I've never done this one again. Okay, so we're going to finish up the look before putting on the mascara. Um, it's going to put some highlighter on, so I'm going to take... Well, I kind of want a peachy, dewy look, so I'm taking my Kate Cosmetics Aphrodite Highlighter. And you only really need, wait, if you do, I have to do one pump on this hand. What I recommend you buy is product so much comes on. So, there's your one pump, if you can see that. And it's kind of like the, it's like the dupe of the Benefit Higher Beams. So, if you love them, you'll definitely love this product. And I literally just pull it dot dot around here. It's like a rose gold colour, it's perfect for all skin tones. It just gives you a bit of a dewy finish, which I think with red lips, you can't go wrong with. I think it makes it stand out more. See how it just makes my blush out and stuff a little bit more stand out and pops. And on the side. I might go a bit crazy with this if I'm really. Okay, now I'm going to get my Gosh Rebel Eyes and I'm going to just mascara it. I'm going to put false lashes on, but I'm going to do it at the, like, off camera because it's quite intense, you know. And then I'll just 
what I do with my eyelashes, I go to like a feline this way. So then when I put my eyelashes on, it looks a little bit more feline like. Okay, so the camera died with battery. So what I was about to say was, I get my collection sheer loose powder, and um, basically just to finish off the look, and I get my massive fluffy brush from Real Techniques. I'm really oily around here, so it's where I get most of my spots. So I just lightly powder it because it's where I get the most slip off of my makeup. So I am going to go in again with the brush and just do a bit more highlighter. On the nose. And it's best to always highlight shoulders and stuff so I'm going to actually get my Aphrodite cake smith highlighter again because when you have photos especially now a lot of people wear like bardos you know shoulders are new cleavage you just need to make sure that everything connects so I put it on my collarbones and my shoulders just so when there's a flash on when you're out it kind of all connects as to one um, so you don't want to look disconnected from your makeup otherwise it just looks a bit weird yeah so that is the full look we have done everything well mainly everything on budget so the lipsticks um, the eyes apart from the eyebrows were all budget items from the drugstore and I really hope you like it um, if you like a tutorial on how to line thin lips, I don't like looking like a clown, so I just try and accent, you know, accentuate my bow because that's the best part of my lips. I can show you how to do that if you don't want to have surgery or anything. Um, I kind of think I might have bowed it a little bit. I know they don't look massive, but they're getting there. So I hope you like it and please subscribe to my channel. And yeah, see you soon. Thanks. Bye.